What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evolution Everton. It has been a few days since Foot Champs. We've recovered. We've calmed down. We've analysed. And we've started improving the team as well. You can see in my squad is a 77 rated Evo Jared Branthwaite in my full Everton plus Hernandez squad. If we hop over to Evos, you'll see on my day off, like a nerd, I have been playing squad battles and Evo Lounge. Thankfully, I got relegated to Div 7 when the season reset, so Evo Lounge is actually really easy. And we basically just made people rage quit at 1 or 2 nil after 15 minutes. So that was really nice. That was very easy. And then we had to play one, three, six games of squad battles in order to get this Jared Branthwaite. 80 rated, 78 pace, 81 defending, and 81 physical. The best part of that is there is another centre-back Evo that that Jared Branthwaite is eligible for. Search by Prem and Everton. Take a look at all of our beautiful Everton Evos as we do so. But most importantly, go down to Branthwaite, pop him into this Evo, and he will turn into this. 80 pace, 84 physical, with 93 jumping at six foot five, might I add, five star weak foot. 85 defending, reasonable, reasonable dribbling, 98 short passing. Apparently, he can kick it wherever he wants, but he just can't see where that is because he's only got 40 vision. How that works out, I have got no idea. This card actually looks really, really good. I've said it before, and I'll say it again about Brumfight. I said it about Garner. His stats aren't quite on the card. Absolutely elite meta god tier. That can be construed as a positive, though, because it means when the next centre-back evolution comes out, I think the new promo is going to be called Triple Threat. If you get a Triple Threat centre-back, or whatever the promo after that is, he's probably going to be able to go in it. Because he doesn't have... I think if we'd have put Michael Keane into both of these evos, he would still only, unfortunately, have about 60 pace. But he'd have had, like, 94 defending or something mad like that. Which would be insane, but also really slow. Whereas, Bramthwaite... He could probably go into the next centre-back Evo that comes out, whereas they're not going to let you put someone with 94 defending in, whatever Michael Keane would have, you know? So I'm quite optimistic about that, and I'm going to be using this guy. We're going to finish this off and use him in this weekend's foot champs. Another man who we can start working on, and who actually is a subject of a lot of discussion, or the Evo itself is a lot of discussion, in the previous video. The top comment is from Robbo of the Toffees. These three Evos, Centurion attacking mid, Centurion box-to-box -box midfielder, and Centurion striker. There is actually an Everton player who can go into all three of them. And when you do it, she becomes unbelievable. It's Hannah Benison, who doesn't look... I mean, she's not rare. She's 76. But in terms of, like, balance of her stats, she's not actually that bad. But she's a camera centre mid and a striker. Uh, why she's not a centre forward? I don't know. But she isn't. This is what she does for Centurion striker. Get some play styles, gets pretty good at dribbling. What I'll do actually, and we'll get Rob to put this picture up, let me grab a picture of what she looks like after you've put her into all three. Here we go. She's 86 rated with 90 pace, 9 play styles, 92 dribbling. That card is crazy. However, it is 300k, and it is unfortunately for her using up the Centurion Striker Evo. It is time for this man to return. So, if we once again filter this by Premier League Everton, we can take a look at what Calvert-Lewin's going to become when we get him into this. He's only 77, and the max overall you're allowed to put in is 84. He's not been eligible for the other ones because he's got a bit too much physical or a bit too much shooting or slightly too high rated, even though his stats fitted. That one was really annoying. Which means he's not going to turn into the most unbelievable player. Because, you know, this is set for an 84 card to be put into. So you can't give them two crazy boosts. But, you know, he gets some. And he's looking pretty good. 95 jumping. 88 head accuracy, 93 sprint speed. He's got power header. He's got rapid. He's got aerial. I'm going to, I'm going to say pretty good. Pretty good. Again, though, take the positives. The silver lining. His highest stat is 85 pace. They've let you evolve cards that have got more than 85 pace so far. In fact, we're sitting on Hoyland, who still hasn't been, as a striker, been able to evolve because of the 85 pace. So that is coming soon. He's going to be able to go into it. Hoyland is, and we'll bloody sell him and make a fortune. And we'll put Calvert-Lewin in again. 
So, the Everton Evo team is looking pretty bloody good. I need to get Bramfweight into this centre-back one, and we need to finish it off by... They've been sneaky. They're, they're not stupid. Play squad battles, but also keep clean sheets. What I've been doing is playing semi-pro, playing the first half for four minutes, going like 6-0 up, putting my controller down, coming back when I've won 6-2. Can't do that, because I need a clean sheet. EA is smart. They're onto it. However, as well as doing that, we've also got some new content to cover. If we jump into the SBCs, I'm sure this is what you guys are here for because this is what the video is going to be titled. A guaranteed Road to the Knockout Pack. And... And uh, there's this Centurion's upgrade thing, which we can we still need to crack on. We've got 19 days to do more of them. There's a Centurion's 100 players upgrade. I opened it on my main account, my pay-to-win account, my Squabble the Showdown account. But uh, it wasn't very good, I'll be honest with you. And this... Max 87 icon upgrade. On my main account again, I got a very, very good card from this. Which has suckered me into wanting to do it. And I think I'm going to. Now, I, as you can see, have got 585,000 coins. Where did all them coins come from? I hear you ask. Selling my fodder. Now, unfortunately, I sold this on Monday. And on Tuesday, EA dropped more content. One of them being an Anthony Gordon, which I think I'm going to just outright refuse to do, even though he used to play for Evan. And then this Road to the Knockout Pack and stuff like that, which has actually driven fodder a little bit higher than what I sold it for. So I was lazy listing and managed to get some of my 85s to sell for 8,800 coins. You can sell them for about 9k at the moment. I sold some of them for eight and a half. You could maybe laser list them and get some of them to sell for like 9,200 or something like that. So you could maybe squeeze out. If you'd have, if I'd have done it last night, I might have been able to squeeze out an extra thousand coins. That's, I was selling the 85s for about 8,600, let's say on average. And then the 84s we sold for 4,400, which you can now sell for just under 5k. You could maybe lazy list them for like 5,200 and slowly sell them to people lazy buying. So you've missed out on a little bit of coins, but the way to think about this is we've made profit. It's yes, we could have made a little bit more, but it also EA could have released something that crashed the market on Tuesday and I took the guaranteed profit. And I think that is absolutely fine when it comes to fodder. We've also actually, we started with 600K. We bought 500K worth of fodder, which we have basically got all the coins back from because we're almost back up to 600K. We bought a Van Dyke for 200,000 coins. Granted, we sold Varan for 50k as well. So we've 150k into Van Dyke. So that would take us up to almost 650. And what I haven't sold is the 86s that I bought. So we bought these for about 12 to 13k each. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I packed Gundogan and... Beth Mead doesn't trade So that's another 130k. Plus Van Dyke. If I sold Van Dyke, we could probably get to liquid one mil. Which is pretty mental. I'm not going to do that because I want to use them in foot champs this weekend. However, we're doing well. We're basically doing well just from fodder trading, to be honest with you. Other trading's not been going very well. We've been trying to do like buy meta cards on a Friday. That would have actually worked quite well with Centurion's team too. But buying them on a Sunday, selling them on a Tuesday hasn't really been working very well for me. So anyway, what we're going to do today in this video is introduce you to my Everton Evos team, which is soon to have an even better Jared Bramfweight and a Calvert-Lewin, and then we'll just need a goalkeeper Evo EA. For the lo How long have we been asking for a goalkeeper Evo EA? We'll just need a goalkeeper Evo, and we'll have a full Everton Evo team, which is pretty sick. I did also make sure to check and swap in this Calvert-Lewin. This one is first owner. I went on the web app, quick sell recovered them, if you were worried about that from the last episode. He's going to be a first owner Evo player. I guess the other thing, I don't know if to invest in Pickford's. Is Pickford going to be like the creme de la creme of goalkeepers that you can Evo? He's currently 1,400 coins. He was 750 the other day. Whether that is other people just investing in him or whether that is because he's 82 and a little kind of bit of fodder. I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and do some squad battles to upgrade Bramfweight, which I'll come back and update you guys on. And we are, of course, going to do an Icon Pack and a Guaranteed Road to Knockouts Pack. And actually, because I've sold all of my fodder, we might open a pack in the store. Hear me out. With coins. 20 cards, 83 or 84. 83s are 2.5k. 
If you get 2080 freeze, you get the 50k back. Is that, is that good maths? Yeah, that's perfect maths. That's exactly correct. However, you're going to get some 84s. If I'm going to go and buy 20 cards to put into these Evos, not into these Evos, into these SPCs, I may as well just buy this pack. It, this is breaking my brain because buying packs with coins is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Normally. But this doesn't seem like a terrible idea. And I'm somewhat scared to do it, but I think it is actually the most sensible thing to do because I've sold all of the tradable fodder in my club. And I've got some SPCs that I want to do. So I should open this pack with coins instead of buying the fodder off the market. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I've just done that. But we have. And as long as we get like a few 84s, which we've obviously got at least one, which is good. So it's 5k. We're fine. We're chilling. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got... Unfortunately, we can't sell him because he's worth a lot more than 5k. He's untradeable. He's just fodder to us. Lorente is not, but he is very, very good. So we might even just keep him as a super sub. However, 5, 10, 15... 20. There's 20k of 84s. Any duplicate ones? Yeah. 25k of 84s. We've just got 62,500 coins worth of fodder for 50k. There's opportunities to pack informs and stuff like that as well, which would be even better because they're worth like 15k for an SPC. And we obviously got Hakimi, who unfortunately can't sell for 12k. That would be very, very nice. But, you know, into the club he goes, and we will initially use these ones to do some SPCs with. So let's jump in. And let's do the Road to the Knockouts pack first, because I think that's cheaper. Okay, here we go. Everything in here is untradeable, apart from Gundogan. He's an 86. Bit of 86 fodder going in. So I guess if we'd have sold this, we could have had 13k. Not too bad. We're using up the dupes. We're using up all untradeables. We're getting an 84 plus Road to the Knockout. This could be mental, but it's probably just going to be Dodo. Realistically, let's be honest. Something else that I completely forgot to show you guys is whilst I have been just sort of grinding the game off camera, just doing stuff, I unlocked Jared Bowen. Pretty nice. So we'll claim all of that. We get ourselves one Jared Bowen and a couple of packs. Very good. We can obviously pop all of these into our club now. I mean, he's 86 fodder, isn't he? He's, I don't know why I'm trying to check his price. He's an objective. He doesn't actually look that bad, to be fair, but... He also is completely useless, really, for an Everton Road to Glory. He's not meta enough to go in the squad. And he doesn't play for Everton, so he's not going to go in the squad. But, may as well do him. Bit of 86 fodder. And Centurion Goals is crap loads of packs. So we've got ourselves here to do this icon pack. Oh my god! We are building, building this fodder back up. This is beautiful. And I think there was even more stuff, wasn't there? Okay, and 82 times 2 for winning 10 games. Very nice. Let's work our way through these packs then. And whilst doing so, hopefully get some extra fodder. Is that Castiles? No, that is unfortunate. That would have been good fodder. Plays for Club Bruges. Oh, it's Mignolet. No way. See you later, mate. Next up, we have got SCN. Oh. I don't even know if that's the right flag. It's definitely the right colours. Whether it's in the right order, I'm not sure. That is schlub. All right. I'm taking a look at the players that you can get from... Oh, there's McSauce. Very nice. Not his inform, unfortunately. Taking a look at the players that you can get from the Road to the Knockout pack. The most expensive one is Haaland at 2.6 mil. Wouldn't say no. Luis Diaz is a mil. Mission Merseyside. Sort us out, EA. Saka. Osimhen. Lewandowski. Bruno Fernandes. João Pedro. Modric and a Pender. So any of them is absolutely class because the SBC costs 50k. And they're all, well, a pen's the cheapest one and he's 280. <laughs> so, you know, any of them is unbelievable. Realistically, there is also a lot of very bad cards. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much, but you never know. Like we've had some up and down pack luck is probably the best way to describe it on the road to glory. Some of it's been incredible. Like, we packed Van Dyke and we packed a hero in one pack. And then, the past two weeks of foot champs, we've opened our 125k pack and only just got a board, basically, with an 83. 
Ojo Cole, initially, I thought was terrible. Then I flipped and thought, hang on, actually, this is really good. And then I used him, and he's actually kind of terrible. So, a bit, literally, roller coaster pack luck is what we've had. These things are at least stocking our club up with untradeable non rares. I mean, and fodder as well, like 80 freeze and stuff, which we can use to put into the Centurion's upgrades, which is good. If they are dupe. Like, see now, this is four of them. Do I go and put four of these into a Centurion's upgrade? Or do we just quick sell them and carry on with the video? Silly question, Andy. This is a road to glory. We opt- Oh my god, don't put Godfrey. I mean, I've got an Evo one. I don't know why I'd have use for another first owner Godfrey, but you never know down the line. Maybe they release a team of the uh, centre-back Evo, and we have to quick sell our Evo Godfrey to put in a new one to get a 90-rated Godfrey. Anyway, enough waffling, Andy. Send that so we can open more packs. We're going to optimize. I mean, four players. If it was one, I'd probably just quick sell them. I'll be honest with you. I'm lazy. It was four. As many as four. It's more than a third of the squad. Oh, we're up to the good packs as well. We are up to get him a, get him a club. We'll put you in again at some point to do more of these crafting things. We're up to the good packs. German? Cam. Muggle. Muggle. Give it... Not Muller. Not Muller. Muggle. Muggle. Muggle! Good! Fodder! We love the F words. Alright, an 83 times 2, and an 84 plus, and an 83 times 3, and a free rare gold plays back with open face, because I'm guaranteed to say the F word. The ones Brazilian centre back, Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. Fodder. Fodder! Shall I get a judge's gavel? And instead of saying fodder, every time we get it, I'll just bang it on my desk. There we go. Never mind, order. Fodder! Fodder! There we go. An 84 plus? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, this has actually worked out really well for me. We are on a hot streak and we're jumping straight into the road to the knockouts pack. How are we? I mean, I'd be better if I didn't get you in my pack, mate. But, you know. How are we? 20k. Oh, get the board back. I mean, as a card, he doesn't actually look that bad. He's usually quite good on foot. He's got mad stats. He doesn't really go into my team. Is he going to go through and get another upgrade? Yeah, they're currently top of the table. They've won all three games. Okay, so he's going to get another upgrade to an 88. So then he'll be better. And we could pair him up with Lukaku for an ex-Everton team if we don't use him as... But realistically, not the best. However, we now have upon ourselves... An icon pack. One squad to do it. Let's get it done. 85 rated. We've just got plenty of... To put into it. Then we go and sort it out full and tradable. And then let's pack ourselves. Fernando Torres for Mission Merseyside. Here we are then. Full and tradable. Modric instantly sacrificed along with Beth Mead. Millie Bright that we've just got. 684s and 283s. I think this has gone unbelievably well, to be honest with you, in terms of how much this has cost me to do. We've obviously spent 50k on a pack to stock the club up, and then we've stocked the club up even more anyway. I probably didn't need to do it if I'd have realised that I had all of them packs from the Centurion's goals. Never mind. It is what it is. We've got 79 of these things left to do, which is potentially stretching it. We could maybe open this thing, but that's not actually that good. 60 of the players aren't gold. What we are going to open is the icon pack. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm cautiously optimistic. This is it then. It turns out my Twitch chat is not as optimistic as I am. 62% betting their channel points, their bubbles, that I'm not going to get something worth more than the SBC. 135k. This thing costs to do. It's cost me basically nothing, realistically. It's just opportunity costing it, as the nerds would say. Me being one of them. So, let's click X and let's pray for a Spanish flag. I'm tempted to do Icon Roulette, but I don't think my heart could take it. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. It is Mission Merseyside. But it is the wrong version of Mission Merseyside. This is Mission Merseyside Stinky Edition. A 69k, as if to make it even more of a meme. 
Oh, Ian. You've got 69 passing as well. He's actually, that is a terrible, terrible card. Genuinely. Is he the way, now that they've downgraded Nakata and stuff, is that the worst icon on this game? Even just looking at it, the hair, the moustache, the Welsh flag being useless for giving chemistry to good players, the 69 passing, oh dear. The fact he played for Liverpool, I think, unfortunately, we're just going to have to end this video on that sad, sad note. And I'm going to hop off and pop Jared Bramthwaite into the Centurion centre-back and grind some squad battles and chat to the stream. And we'll come back next time with our new Foot Champs team and do Foot Champs qualies.